Life in Depth. This is the fourth episode, and here with we have our uh, Jitin and Sami. How are you guys doing? Great. Going good. How are you enjoying the weather today? Oh yeah, it's better oh. after a long time. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. So. But we can't, we can't get after a long time. We so. can't go out, so <laughs> there's no point in the weather being so good. But it's okay. You can enjoy sometimes the harsh sun from the balconies. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're doing, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So my f- so the whole uh, aim of doing this video is that we want to let the incoming students know your experiences mm-hmm. and how are you coping up with your busy schedule with work and every other mm-hmm. things. So my first question to both of you is actually, uh, when did you pay your fees? I paid my fees in June, mid June, because I was waiting for another university. So I had to delay a little bit because I had to. <clears throat> I wasn't sure of joining Dell. I was waiting for TU Berlin, and I preferred that course to this course. So I waited till June, but I I thought. That I I hadn't got the reply by then, so I thought I'll finalize on Delft. What about you? Yeah, I uh, I paid by I mean not paid to be honest. I was waiting for other universities as well, and uh, I got an offer from TU Delft by Feb February mid, but then again I was just waiting for other universities, and by the end of May, I got this uh, reply about scholarship and stuff. That's when I finalized like I just go. With and so you got the scholarship yeah, hence yeah. you yeah i just said like you know wanted i didn't think of anything else i was just like let it go okay yeah so, so that was by i think i just missed the deadline for the house housing like portal two days. two days yeah exactly two days like i think i gave my answer on may 19th and they closed the list on may 17th, 17th if yeah, i'm not wrong yeah so so uh you so did you get access to the housing portal no i didn't apply for it i th- i didn't think the housing uh, finding a house would be that difficult so now since you both have not taken the tu delft housing portal how did you manage to find a house i found a house on i i uh, registered on a couple of websites such as garmanet and uh, housing anywhere stuff like that i found my house through housing anywhere okay it was hard it took some time but it was fine so uh, did you had to so was there a procedure like in do we already pay like uh, first month fees and there's like not much of a hassle like it depends from people to people but then did you face any hassles like you had to pay some deposit when you were back in india or any things which people should be know and be much prepared for yeah i had to pay the first month deposit Uh, I have two flatmates, so all of us had to pull in and pay the first month deposit. Apart from that, nah, it was not so hard. We had to pay the deposit directly to the website, so the portal was not so complicated. We just had to click on the link and complete the payment. It was fine. It was not so difficult. Okay. How about you? Ah, uh, for me, well, uh, I, I I would have gotten the access, um, but uh, it came in very late. yeah uh, i think by first second week of june i started looking for houses and i again registered for a lot of places in the end i mean more, most of them were paid so i was a little skeptical about them then i thought i'll just try common at first and i think i took their 15 day 15 days uh, subscription for 21 euros i think it was yeah yeah, yeah. so i took that and i think for a week i sat and just sent replies at if i'm not wrong i've sent replies to close to 100 uh, advertisements over a whole week and uh, most of them wanted dutch people or uh, they had already given out the house and i got four positive replies <laughs> out of the 100 uh, replies that i had given okay and one of them was for uh, and uh, among them i think three how my friend was available here so i was able to go see, you know ask him to go see the house for me and one guy just contacted me through whatsapp he was ready to sublet his house for two months so that was i was having a backup if those others didn't work out and then my friend went and saw the other two houses and i finalized on one of them then it was direct contact with the landlord through emails i had to send him the one month deposit 
just to make sure that I have the house. And uh, once it was August, I had to send him the rent. So, uh, were you ever, have you ever faced any housing scams or something? Were you aware of it? Yeah, I, I read about the housing scam issue over here. And uh, one of the links that I found on uh, Carmenet or Housing Anywhere, there was this lady from uh, England who was <clears throat> renting a whole studio. Not even a studio, it was a proper one-bedroom apartment for an amount of 550 euros. And she said, you need to pay it. You know, two months deposit and two months rent is deposit and stuff like that. And after I, uh, I had to apply for that house through Airbnb and stuff like that. It, I the house was huge and for that amount it was very good. But then I was uh, skeptical about you know this whole issue and I thought, how could she give such a big house for five fifty euros? There has to be something behind this. And my flatmate who had just connected through Telegram, he found the same link as well. So both of us decided there's something wrong with this uh, house and this lady and we thought we shouldn't go forward with it. Mm. So that it, it is, it's, it happens. Housing scams happen. At How about you? Uh, I faced the same thing but not during my search, initial search. So the house which I had was for six months. So I thought I'll uh, look for, a, I mean, it, oh, the rent was a little higher. So I thought I'd look for a cheaper place. And I started looking, I think by September and October, I started looking for new houses. And I got this uh, link, a beautiful house, city center, 2 BHK. And uh, I mean, it was, the address was given. It all, it looked perfect. Then I started talking to the guy. He was like, yeah, this it's available. It's at this, you can go and check out the address. And I was like two minutes away from that place. I was like, okay, fine. I can go and check out the place. I'll go do it. And then we started talking. He was like, you have to keep the place clean. He started, you know, looking genuine. And at, right at the moment when I was pretty convinced, he asked me like, a lot of people are asking for the place. So you'll have to give me a one month deposit to reserve it. And I'm like, I told him, yeah, sure. I will do it. I just need to see the place. But he was like, uh, no, I won't be available. I'm not available in Netherlands. It'll take uh, it's be, it'll take some time for me to come by. I told him, I don't, no worries, I can wait. I'll, I'll come and meet you and I can do the transfer that day itself. But he was like, he wasn't ready for that. That's that's when it started, some, I mean, something smelled fishy. And I just, um, I told him, see, I, I can't uh, pay you the amount without seeing the house. But he then he started, um, you know, trying to make me feel guilty. He's like, I don't need to do this. I am very honest living. I have, my wife is working by doing this, that and all. He started telling me all this. But uh, I was pretty, I was adamant on not giving him the money until I see the house. And then I, I, uh, took, I blocked him and I just reported his contact to the website where they mentioned. Then I, I continued my search. I think three days later, another lady or lady uh, with a different profile, a different picture came in with the same pictures of the same house. <laughs> and I was I was pretty sure it's a scam. I replied to the scam and like, oh yeah, I'm interested. I just wanted to see his reply. Again, same same structure, same thing, everything. You're like, you have to pay, you have to reserve. I'm like, okay, fine, thank you. I just, I reported him there for, in Facebook as well. I think I haven't seen his ad after that. <laughs> but... So, uh, with all these experiences, if given a choice mm. that you could have had the access to the housing portal, would you take it or would you not take it? For sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, housing portal is always the easiest option. I mean, I uh, once I finalized on my house, they uh, duo sent me a mail saying there are a few uh, houses left. If you're interested, we can give you the login. But by then, I had sent the deposit to the house and... It was pretty much finalized, so I replied to them saying I don't need it, and I was refunded the money. Uh, but uh, if you if you get a chance, do go for them. Opt or opt for Duo. But uh, if if at all you don't, it's not uh, it's not the end of the world. It's a little it's a little the housing is a little difficult in Delft, so you'll have to work a little hard to get a good house in Delft. So I wouldn't. Let go of a chance of getting, uh, you know, getting a duo house. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. With this, we come to the end of our 
फोर्थ एपिसोड सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू आई से बाय